Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Because right now, I think his cooking stanks. Oh, man. Is somebody doing a hit job on The Rock? We're going to explore that and more in this video. I think there's something going on behind the scenes, and I am by no stretch of the imagination some sort of like rock stan. Like, I could care less about what The Rock does. Uh, I saw Black Adam, I was like, yeah, that's fine. And I'm pretty sure he does like some sort of movie where he jumps from one skyscraper to another. Pretty sure it's called Skyscraper. And I watched Rampage, and that pissed me off. So, but what I do think is happening, something strange is going on in Hollywood. And I think I can connect the dots for you. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions, but is there a conspiracy afoot? Let's explore it, friends. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And you know what I always do when I'm watching these videos? I always forget to like and subscribe. It hugely helps a channel like ours. Like, you cannot understand how much it helps. Thank you if you decide to do that. We really appreciate it. But let's get to the story. Let's, let's explore this because I think we're all going to learn something together. So, there's a movie that has not been released yet. It's an Amazon MGM film called Red One. Something about Santa. I never heard of this. I don't know what's going on here. But they're saying that uh, their their uh, production, the, the price tag, ran, ran up to $250 million because of Dwayne Johnson, his tardiness. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Uh, so originally this was slated to be released in 2023. The red one is now been delayed to November, 2024. I don't even know if it's going to be released in theaters. I, I, I don't know what this is or if it's just a streamer. Like, I don't know what's going on, but there clearly are some people who are, they're letting it, this stuff doesn't normally hit the press unless they have some sort of, uh, some's brewing in the background where they want to take him down. Very strange. They were saying on the set away from his trailer, if he needs to pee, he doesn't go to the public bathroom. He pees in a Voss water bottle, and his team or his PA has to dispose of it. That's pretty humiliating. And if you look, the story that's connected is how Dwayne Johnson kneecapped Black Adam and Shazam 2 while trying to take over DC. Somebody's out to get this guy. And uh, th it's it's a little weird, right? The Rock is late, is what they're they're claiming. That um, he would miss, the, he would sh he would show up like seven to eight hours late on shows. I guess because they're saying something because uh, he wasn't on time for WrestleMania. He's not on time for this. They said. Johnson was late an average of seven to eight hours per day and missed entire days of production, ballooning costs by at least $50 million, according to three insiders who insisted anonymity for fear of being fired. It was an effing disaster. Dwayne truly doesn't give an F. So we have to understand, folks, is Hollywood works on reputation, right? So if you're unreliable, per se... All of these productions have in insurance policies, right? So if something goes wrong, the $50 million gets eaten by an insurance policy. But if you become uninsurable, kind of like Lindsay Lohan did in her heyday, no, you are blackballed. No one will touch you. And when you start telling people that you're costing a movie $50 million because of your bad work ethic, then there's a chance that they're trying to get him... Uh, outside of the, you know, they're trying to push him out of Hollywood or at least threaten him. You know, when they leak stories like this, it seems to be a thing. They're like, Johnson's tardiness has, has been an issue for years. They rent a location. They could shoot as much as they want with the other actors while they wait for him to show up on set. I'm telling you, this is very strange. You've never heard a word of this. You've heard, like, little grumblings here and there that he had problems with Vin Diesel and, you know, Vin Diesel, I guess he was saying that that he was showing up for late there. So here's another story that got leaked. And this is all recent. And again, I, I, we're going to, I promise you, we're going to get to a conclusion that makes sense for everybody here. 
The Rock on Red Notice. If you remember that movie, it was a pretty successful Netflix movie. It was fine. It had Gal Gadot, The Rock, and Ryan Reynolds. It was fine. And not, I, I don't rem barely remember what happened. Mildly amusing movie. B minus, C plus type movie. And uh, apparently, The Rock got into a tiff with Ryan Reynolds. You know, Hollywood sweetheart and billionaire now. Ryan Reynolds, right? Doesn't he own his own soccer team and he sold out to uh, a liquor company and all these other things? Very strange, right? And they were saying like, oh yeah, there was an incident with Ryan Reynolds, a huge fight. Because of what? Because of the shooting schedule and it was a complicated shooting time. I'm telling you, they're trying to get this man uninsured. And do I, do I care necessarily? Not really. I mean, I, I don't care about The Rock all that much. But it does show you something. And look, I don't typically lean political, but we're going to we're explore like one or two more things before I get to my, my final conclusion here. I just want to show you also, just as a, as a thing, The Rock's manager, who's also Henry Cavill's manager, I just want to show you this side of roast beef, this side of, Beef. Look at this. Danny Garcia, <laughs> The Rock's ex-bodybuilder wife. Now, they're they're not married anymore, but she's still his manager. And she was Henry Cavill's manager. And do you remember Henry Cavill being promised that he was going to be Superman? Do you remember Henry Cavill showing up in the end credits of Black Adam because, you know, Superman was going to fight Black Adam? Do you remember all that stuff and how it was clearly orchestrated through Danny Garcia when The Rock and Danny Garcia were trying to take over DC? Did they make some people mad in there? Was that the reason? Hard to say, right? So, again, here, look, Henry Cavill, he, he got rid of her. He moved on. It was decided they should go their separate ways. After he split from his manager, Danny Garcia, months from being before being fired from Superman... Okay, so now he's messing with Henry Cavill, which I don't like because I do like Henry Cavill. Look at that! What a what a what a professional! Uh, she was a professional bodybuilder, and uh, yeah, that's a whole thing. And I think she clearly that they messed some things up here. I don't, uh, you know, I don't want to rehash the whole Henry Cavill thing because I'm going to play a clip for you, and I think we may have discovered exactly why he's getting pushed out or why they're coming for him very simple answer we're gonna watch this video together i think you know what's coming and i just want to point out too uh he's doing this interview with will kane and he has a bottle of his his tequila there because you know schiller's got a shill whatever product they got a shill just wanted to point it out but here we go endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. He continued, I thought I'm in this position where I have some influence. So it's funny because they, they, they set up the quote and then they don't actually like let you read it. But he, I will read it for you instead of this lady. I thought I'm in the position where I have some influence and I felt it was my job to exercise my influence and share. This is who I'm going to endorse. I'm not going to do that. I don't know why you have to get on like a stage anywhere and endorse anybody. Like, why is he in this stadium? Why is he endorsing anybody? Do I care what anybody from Hollywood or sports or anywhere who they endorse? I, I, I guess when you endorse tequila, maybe I'll vote for your tequila bottle. But let's listen to that months and months and months. I started to realize like, oh, man, that caused an incredible amount of uh, division in our country. So. I realize now going into this election, I'm not going to do that. He went on to say, my goal is to bring this country. To so you're saying, <laughs> so the rock is saying that he's sowed his endorsement, sowed political discord from people. Interesting. My goal is to bring this country together. I believe in that. There will be no endorsement at this level of influence. I'll keep my politics to myself is between me and the ballot box. Good for you, Dwayne, the rock Johnson. But then, that circles back is his withholding of an endorsement after endorsing some people. Are they coming for him now? I just want you to think about it. I don't know. I can't prove it. But 
This sure seems like they're trying to either tamp him down or get him to fall in line. It's a little strange that they're saying he cost a, a production $50 million and they're trying to influence his ability to be insured by anyone. You know, the movie star, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, his livelihood is in jeopardy. I mean, I guess he could go back to WrestleMania, but I'm just saying, co conspiracy? You let me know down in the comments below because... I have no idea. I don't even know what these people are talking about. It's craziness. But let me know. Are you a fan of The Rock? Do you think you should stay out of politics? Do you think you should run for president? Uh, you let me know in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. I read them all. We check it out. Again, like and subscribe. I would really I thank you for watching this. I appreciate it. I think you see where I'm going with all this and the influence that people weigh in general. And, uh, you know, in the meantime, check out our full-length audio podcast. It is on iTunes. You can also catch it here on YouTube, the greatest of channel thing, YouTube. Yes, it's great. Algorithm, we love you. And Rumble, and we're there too. But uh, don't forget, we do love all you guys. We're just we're trying to keep it going. Join the channel. You can help support us. We do appreciate it. We love all y'all. But I am on to the next one.